Baby, listen, listen, listen. I don't know what, ooh, Lord have mercy, Lord, what Tasha K got, oh my gosh. Oh, this is so bad, this is so bad for Larry Reed, y'all, this is so bad for him. This is, this, this is, this is, this is, this right here, this is terrifying. Make sure y'all share the live, it's after dark, y'all, y'all know, you know, our people is, uh, y'all know our people is, is a little sleep. Uh, we on the West Coast, I mean, East Coast time. Thank y'all so much for tuning in tonight, y'all that are coming on. Oh, my gosh. Listen, it is a lot. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Oh, gosh. I got some cliffs. I got some cliffs. I got some cliffs. Now, y'all know that Tasha K, first of all, y'all know that Larry Reed has been going through it. He has been going through it, and I don't know what Uncle Clifford and Jabba the Hutt going to say now. I want to know how much money is Larry going to throw at these fools to get them to counter this? Because first of all, you said you didn't know the man. He wasn't an American citizen. We know that. You said that he had a mental illness. You said that he was broke and that he was poor. Hey, y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. You, he, I mean, you said so much stuff about this man. And now Larry Reed's secret lover, y'all, all his secret lover done came out. He said that Larry Reed put witchcraft on Bishop Lamore Whitehead. Oh, my God. He said that Larry Reed practices witchcraft. He said that uh, he said that Larry wrote on a piece of paper, wrote Bishop Lamore Whitehead name down on a piece of paper and buried it in some black sand down in Miami. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? He said, Larry Reed is out here pra preaching Jesus, but you out here practicing witchcraft. That man said he a witch and a warlock. I cannot believe it. I got so many notes. Baby, we about to get up into this. So let me show y'all who blowing the whistle. I wonder what them hoes over there going to say now. I wonder what Uncle Clifford going to say. And I wonder what Jabba the Hood going to say. Because you know them hoes on full-time payroll over there. Them hoes. I ain't thought about Levantre. They ain't thought about how Larry Reed played with Levantre. Even um, even Lester said that uh, uh, Larry told him that he molested Le uh, Levantre at 15 years old. He said that Larry told him that he had sex with Levantre Andrews at 15 years old. And he said that Larry said it was a mistake. I ain't said Lester. Lester said it. Here you go right here. This is Larry Reed's secret lover, baby. He talked about it tonight. I mean, you know, uh, with Tasha K. Y'all already know Woody Woodpecker. Y'all know she was fucked up. I don't know if it was the wine talking or if he was just telling the truth. Because it seems like the more he started sipping that damn wine, it seemed like the more this shit got crazier and crazier. So we hope this uh, illegal immigrant... Uh, oh my God! Let me just show y'all the notes. Oh my God, y'all! Oh God! So hopefully, you know, this illegal immigrant <laughs> is telling the truth, bro. Cause you was drinking that, you were throwing that damn wine back. Okay, so we gonna start it off now. This is what he said. Now let me show y'all this. Let me show y'all who let. Now he did say that Larry Reed has HIV allegedly. Okay, but we already know what the fuck it is. Larry ain't no bigger than this pen, okay? We already know what it is. Oh, my gosh. It was a lot. It was a lot. I just finished it. It was a lot. Okay, he said Larry has HIV. He said he saw AIDS pills and stuff. He saw, you know. And I think that's who paying for Jabba the Hutt's medication as well. Because they say, you know, when you look at these pictures out here in these streets from back in the day. And then you look now, you like, damn, you was small back then, but damn, you don't blew up. They say them pills will make you blow up, babe. I don't know nothing about it. I've been one size all my life. Okay. So let me show y'all who Larry Reed is in case you don't know. This Larry Reed, a false prophet. Ain't none he ever said came to pass. And if, you know, somebody say he did, then go on over there on YouTube and watch that, uh, 
that uh shout out to facebook tonight y'all tuned in shout out to youtube going over there on youtube and watch that video uh, uh that the bbc did on tb joshua they're gonna tell you how tb joshua was paying them people and telling them people you know if if you got real sickness we can't take you in front of the bishop they were screening them holes so you know now lester okay sat down with drunker than a cooter brown Tasha K, y'all see Tasha K, she drunk than a motherfucker. She can't keep her eyes on, just like she can't keep that hair in control. <laughs> y'all know we fuss with Tasha K every once in a while. You can always catch her in the back of your tree, pet, pet, pecking them trees. All right, so Lester, here go Lester right here. Okay. He said that he is an international soccer player. He said that he retired two years ago. He grew up very poor. Said he'd been in the United States for a year and seven months illegally. Now, thank you so much, Fear No More. Okay. He says that he wanted something different than Trinidad because it was the same culture over and over again. Said his first city he came to illegally was Brooklyn, New York. Said he found a girl and started traveling. Said he thought he was an American the way he and his girl in Brooklyn was traveling the world. He said the girl in Brooklyn is not the same girl who he has pregnant now. I don't understand why she let him stick that damn golden tip in her. And he did say he loved trends, genders. Okay. Now, he said that one day he was on the internet scrolling and he came across Crooked Bishop Whitehead arguing with uh, Larry Sick Dick Reed. He said that he texted Whitehead and told him, you funny as F. Says Whitehead hit him back and said, who are you? And then he moved on. He said that uh, he got into something else about Larry. He said that Larry was a trick or he saw Larry as a trick. He said because Larry was really feminine. Nothing about Larry was a man. Nothing manly about feminine Reed. OK, he said that he started talking to Larry. He and Larry started talking, says that Larry told him that he had a place in Miami. Said that he was in Miami living his best life when he met Larry Reed and, you know, before he met Larry Reed, but he was going through some stuff where he needed Larry Reed eventually. He said that before him and Larry Reed ever met up, he said Larry was putting him in hotels. He said Larry was booking him hotels all around the world. He said one time Larry put him in a hotel for two weeks and they didn't even meet yet. Hadn't even met yet. Right. He said that him and Larry was communicating back and forth on Instagram. Then they started sending pictures. He was sending Larry pictures of him playing in his butt with a dildo. Larry was sending him pictures and stuff. You know, they was they was sexting. He said that uh, Larry sent him a picture of his penis, said that Larry's penis is about five inches and did say that Larry can't even last longer than a minute. I, ooh. He, he said that Larry asked him if he was a top or a bottom. He said he didn't know, you know, about the gay shit, but he was going to be the gay shit. Right. He said he was bringing girls to the hotel and fucking him while Larry was paying for it. I'm talking about Larry had hoes running out that hotel. He didn't know they was going to see his boyfriend, Lester, who Larry had met yet. But, you know. Was quick to go in that bag and spin a band. On this damn boy that Larry said he didn't know was broke, was not a United States citizen, was has a mental illness. You know, y'all know how lying Larry is. Y'all know if Larry breathing, he lying. All right. Now, he said at first, he said at first he didn't think Larry was a sugar daddy. He said because he had told Larry all about his business, what he was going through, you know, and, um, you know, he was just tired of Trinidad. He said, but at first, he all this stuff that Larry was giving him and gifting him, he said that he thought Larry was genuinely caring for him. He said he thought that, you know, Larry was really a nice person trying to help him. Mm. He said that. Uh, mm. He said that uh, Larry was spend thousands and hundreds of thousand dollars on him. He said that. Uh, you know, he he offered Larry to draw up a contract that whatever he spends, he will pay him back. He said that Larry said, no, don't worry about that. God going to bless me. Now, at this point is when Tasha K came in and she told Lester that the money that Larry was spending on him came from the members of the MBN network. That is, y'all know, ran by Larry. And eventually, towards the end of the interview, Lester did say he was not spending Larry's money, but he was spending the church people's money. 
He made that very clear. He says that the members are sending money. No, excuse me. Tasha K says that Larry Reed's MBN network members, Patreon members, Larry Reed live members are sending money to him who charges thousands of dollars for prayers from a trick who's a fact. That's what he said. That's what Tasha K said. Tasha K said that the members of the MBN network is sending their money for prayers from a trick who is a down. Well, he ain't down low. Okay. He said that, uh, he said, uh, he asked Larry what was a top or a bottom. You know, they going back and forth. They all over the place. And test messages, he said that Larry explained to him what it was. <laughs> he said Larry told him he was hoping that he was a top because Larry wanted him to dick him down. Y'all didn't hear that from me. Okay. Y'all did not hear that from me. I'm just telling you what the man said, but y'all didn't really hear that from me. Okay. He said that Larry said, are you a top? I hope you a top because Larry. Now, why Larry out here in these streets telling us that he a top and he out here getting dicked down by these illegal aliens over there in Mexico right now, probably trying to find one to bring back so he can marry to Latrice bull dagging ass again. Listen, I'm just hey, I'm just giving my opinion. OK. Let me see what some of y'all saying in the comments. Ooh, Lord. Listen, three minutes. No, bro, 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 bro. No, Lester said, uh, Lester said, less than a minute. Wait, what y'all talking about? Let me see what y'all talking about. Yup. Law, lat. Ooh, this is a lot. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to mother freaking tell you. Listen, get you a drink. He look like he be tuning it up though. Ooh. Y'all think Larry be tuning it up? He said, oh, my God, wait till we get on down. This shit get real slippery. It's a slippery slope out here, Larry. Damn, Jake's done paid somebody. <laughs> Them tables turn real fast. Okay. Now, he said that, y'all heard what I said. He said that Larry, he asked, you know, Larry started explaining to him what a top and a bottom is. And he said that Larry said to him that he was hoping he was a top so he can bottom him. Bottom him, okay? He said Larry wanted to get dig down, dig, 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 dig down. He said that Larry put him up in a $4,500 a month apartment in Miami. Says Larry had an apartment in Los Angeles, North Carolina, two in Miami and two in Atlanta, along with his own apartment. Mm, 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 mm. How many homeless people over there at the NBN Network has Larry done put up in a motherfucking apartment to help the people? Do anybody know? Do, do anybody know how many people Larry Reed live done put up? Cause then Vincent show a comment where this lady said that she was giving Larry his last. I mean her last, and we ain't seen Larry ask her for no cash out. What's your cash out? Let me pay your bills for the rest of the month. No, cause he want all that money to go to his boy toys like Lester Peltier. Okay. All right, he says that the money Larry spent on him came from the church members, said that Larry is not a good human being at fucking all. We already knew that. We could just look at his skin and tell you that. He said that uh he said that uh Larry has a lot of yes people around him. He said they looked at him as the enemy from the jump as soon as he came through the door. He said that when Kendall and Nathan and all them people, Shamako, he said they saw his presence. They already knew he was going to be an issue. He said that Larry's ex-wife, Lisa, had an issue with him. He, oh, excuse me. And she was also Larry's first choice of him marrying so he could stay in the United States. <laughs> but at the time, he didn't know that that Lisa was his wife. He said that Larry also introduced him to his kids. Do y'all think Larry told them kids that's their uncle? <laughs> y'all know how these women be doing out here in these streets. They find these men and they tell their kids, this your uncle, this uncle Bobo right here. This uncle, no nail. <laughs> this uncle Jabba the Hood. <laughs> Tasha K. <laughs> now, Tasha K did insert her little, uh, well, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm going too fast. Okay, but he said that Larry, <laughs> he said that Larry changed his mind and said, no, nah, Lisa was too damn close for him. He said, so instead, Larry called his bulldagging cousin, Latrice, to come over there and marry him. 
says that Larry flew him to Vegas, sent him $5,500. He was going to marry another woman in Vegas, but she became greedy. Said Latrice, who is Larry's cousin and chef, was the one that he eventually married. Tasha K says that Larry Reed had bought Conscious TV, Uncle Clifford, a car and a computer. And we trying to see what the fuck he going to buy a uh, job at the motherfucking hood. Hopefully he'll buy that nigga a swing set so he can stand up. Woo! Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, let me go to the comments. Let me see what y'all say. <laughs> y'all know once I slap a bitch up, they gonna get keep getting slapped up. It's these roasts don't go away. <laughs> you know your name around this bitch. Thank y'all so much. Make sure y'all <laughs> make sure you send a cash app. Everybody send a dollar to the cash app right now. Put that nigga in one of y'all ever went to the motherfucking park and you know them goddamn little ass swings, the little baby swing where you pick that baby up and you set that baby in that mile. That's what that's what we need. That nigga need to go. They did they he need since he paying since Larry paying people, he need to pay y'all hoes to run up in them goddamn uh what's them places for them physical therapy offices and get them big swings that they be hooking the people up to to teach them how to walk again so y'all can go hook it up over their own job at the hood or somebody come get their goddamn tow truck and just pull that bed up <laughs> all right i'm sorry this about uh this about larry reading them i'm sorry okay let me see where i'm <laughs> hook that damn bed up we repoing this motherfucking bed this rental center bitch open up this rental center. So y'all know rental center coming to get their goddamn shit. They don't give a damn if you sleeping on that motherfucker. They coming to knock at that door. Okay. <laughs> oh, look, that's what that's what that's what Tasha K said. Tasha K said that Larry bought conscious TV, Uncle Clifford. Y'all already know the hoe from the paint. Said that uh Larry bought him a, 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 a car and a computer. And I'm trying to understand. How bitches be online talking about how many views and numbers they got, but them views and them numbers ain't, you know, can't, ain't, ain't, you ain't got a down payment yet, bitch. You only need a thousand dollars. The fuck? What you, what you, what you, what the fuck? You over there making pennies, bitch? Oh, we is so sad for you all. See, if you was nice, bitch, we would have gifted you some peanuts for dinner, but nah, bitch, you want to be an angry bird. Okay. So they say, okay, let me go. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me scroll back where I was. Okay. Y'all still there? What's up, sis? My sis Ratchet up in here. Shout out to the night I see you up in here. Taryn, shout out to everybody from the West Coast to the South, to the uh, East Coast, from the South to up North, bitch. We fuck with y'all. How y'all doing tonight? All right. So he said that the money, listen to this. Come here. He said he got a bank account. He was he was doing the same thing. Tasha, they, let me let me allegedly this shit is really the truth. Allegedly, let me put this allegedly thing up here because I don't want these hoes to sue me, bitch. I still I need my million dollars in defense for some real bitches because I got some real cases coming up. And this good shit gonna get dangerous out here now. All right, allegedly he he was doing this. Lester was doing the same thing they said Tasha K was doing, sending that money back on over there where her husband them from. He said that when Larry was send him uh, $4,000, any money Larry was sending him, he said that he was sending some back to Trinidad just so the shit over here in America don't go right. He'll have some money over there in Trinidad. Okay? Let me put this up because I want y'all to see what's going on. Let me show y'all. I got a picture of Larry right here. This the this the updated Larry. Okay, he said that uh, Larry saw that he couldn't be controlled. He said Larry was making sure his boy toys was on schedule. Oh yeah, he talked about that. He talked about how Larry was making sure Kendall them was in the house, making sure they was in bed, tucked the fuck in with their teddy bears. You know that say don't tell nobody none of this shit. You know, are you gonna be exiled for the rest of your life? I'm gonna cut your check off. You know, that's what that program Teddy Bear was telling Kendall them. Oh, my God. He said that uh, Larry was keeping up with them, make, tracking them, had to tr just tracking them, trying to figure out where they was at, being in the house. He said, no, nigga, I'm not your boy toy. I'm not them. 
I'm going to go out. He said he was stepping out in Miami. He said he was out there in them streets. He was having sex with women. You know, that's what he said. He said Larry could not control him. And we know Larry could control you. We know, we know, you know. Can't nobody control y'all aliens. Y'all is jumping trains. Y'all motherfuckers in New York dressing up like motherfucking Disney characters, robbing people, using people's phones to take pictures and then holding their phones and saying, give me money or I ain't gonna get your phone back, bitch. I would have punched you in your motherfucking face, ho. First of all, you ain't finna hold my phone to take. I got it, bitch. I... <laughs> How y'all letting them damn people come in in, 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 in the motherfucking New York City Snatching y'all phones, taking pictures, then keeping y'all phones trying to extort y'all. Oh hell no! Y'all better start walking around this bitch with a with a with a with a bat that's like an umbrella where you can tuck that bitch in and pull that bitch out when a rainy day come. Yeah, y'all ain't heard about that. Yes, sir. They got no people out there dressing up like Mickey Mouse all down on motherfucking goddamn uh Broadway. Where the fuck they at? Shit, people dressing up. Like that dog on characters dancing around. <laughs> you want to take a picture? Sure, I'll take it. Give me five hundred dollars. Y'all ain't heard about that. Oh my God, where y'all been? Get off and under the bed. Come on, this the time to get off and under the bed. Where you at? Get off and under that bed. Okay, let me get bite. Let me get bite. Let me get bite. Let me get bite. Larry, Larry, they exposing you, Larry. They saying you looking like them pictures on your wall right behind you. Yup. Y'all see it. your face is shaped like that red one and that one over there at the top of your head, close to where that hump on your head at to the left. Got his lips poking out. He look like he mad as hell. He going to have to come down off that damn wall. Now, why you going to put them bitches in the box? Oh, them them statues that Jabba the Hutt said cost a thousand dollars, huh? OK, he said the money that Larry was giving him, he was sending it back to Trinidad. That's what he said. OK, let me see. He said Larry saw that he couldn't be controlled. He said Larry was making sure his boy toys was on schedule. Okay, he said Larry was testing him and said he couldn't help him anymore. He said Larry suggested him to move to Atlanta, you know, after, you know, Larry said he couldn't help him anymore. You want to stay in Miami? I can't help you anymore. Bring your ass to Atlanta. He said he told Larry only if a contract was in place. He said in the contract, he told Larry, I want a car. I want a house. And then he said that he didn't have to pay no motherfucking bills. He said even if he went to the grocery store and bought 300 pounds of crab legs, all he had to do was send Larry the bill and Larry was send it back. That's what he said. I'm telling you what he said. I watched it. He says that um, he says Latrice was the family chef because he was saying that when he moved to Atlanta, Larry was sending him $10,000, well, was paying him $10,000 a month, $15,000 a month. And Tasha K was like, hold on, that's a lot of money for a chef. And he was like, yeah. And um, he was like, Latrice is the family chef. She's the one that cooked them the little spaghettis and heat up the raviolis and, you know, open up a can of potted meat. But he was the one that cooked Larry crab legs, shrimp, steak lobster and potatoes he was the one that cooked larry that filet me he was the personal chef of the false prophet turned whore and trick daddy no dollars because <laughs> they must be having to get them bitches from you he said before larry he said before he and larry did the contract for atlanta larry gifted him ten thousand dollars sometimes fifteen thousand dollars a month said larry was was spinning that chain on him, baby. Look, 300 pounds of crab legs. Purr. Oh, yeah, they laid down. Oh, we're going to get to that. He said that Larry offered him money to f every time. He said, but he couldn't get hard. Oh, Jesus. I got to fix this picture. I got to get me a new set. I'm going to get me a living room, bitch. I'm going I'm to get me a whole living room set. Maybe I need to go in my living room, bitch, and sit in front of them spiral stairs. <laughs> you know, you got to hide your house, bitch, because, you know, these hoes be trying to show pictures of your houses and shit. Thank you. You stay there. You got a family with mama with six kids. and You know, 
When these hoes come breaking your house, bitch, they need to see one wall. They don't need to be seeing your whole house because that helped them identify they at the right place, bitch. Y'all hoes gonna get enough of putting your cars and where your locations and your motherfucking houses up online. <laughs> Somebody say, yes, God. He said that, listen, he said that Larry would offer him money. He said Larry would pay him $5,000 to fuck. But he said he couldn't get hard. He said he took a Viagra, y'all, and still couldn't get up. I said, what? Now, what he said, he said Larry gave him $5,000. said Larry always spoiled him. He said he was gay for pay because... All he do is entertain Larry. He said, that's all Larry wanted. You wanted me to be gay? I'm going to be gay. You wanted me to be about him? I'm going to be about him. You wanted me to talk? I'm going to be a talk. You want me to be first? He said, whatever Larry wanted him to be, he said he would. He, he would. He said, Larry has swelled. Have you ever been swallowed? Have you ever been through a time of swallowing? He said he told so he said Larry wanted him to come around the boy toys. Kendall, he also talked about how he used to walk in Larry's house and Kendall was laying all butt booty ass naked. The house smelling like booty sweat and cookies. The maid ain't came through, you know, to clean up because they paycheck been going to all the boy toys. It's just a lot. He said Larry didn't want he said that he didn't want to hang around them boys. He didn't want to hang around boring ass Kendall now. He said because them was the leech and boy toys. He said he wanted to show Larry Reed. That he didn't need him. Now, they then moved to a part where they started talking about Archbishop. Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, Archbishop. Y'all know the man that be reading them people. I think they say he be throwing, uh, what is it, tarot cards and reading people prophecies. I told y'all I caught that line one day. And I said, uh, I'm going through. And I need a word from the Lord. They said, we got one for you. It's going to be such and such and such. I said, well, I ain't got that right now. Well, just step out on faith. We can't release this. The Lord told us we cannot release this word if you don't release that $144 seed tonight. Can we get your email? No. Can we get your credit card number? No. Because the word is free. All you got to do is just pick it up and read it. Everything you need is in it. You don't need Larry Reed. You don't need Bishop Arch Bernard Jordan, Archbishop. They be coming up with all these names. The Lord ain't even heard of, of these names before. He said the first time he saw Bishop Jordan on FaceTime was while he was in Larry Reed's bedroom. Hmm. Now, he slipped up and said that Bishop Bernard Jordan called him handsome. And when Tasha K, you know, clarified that he was like, no, another dude. You know, was talking about, oh, that one is handsome. I said, that one? What the fuck you mean, that one? He says that everyone who hangs around Larry Reed is gay, including Bishop Bernard. <laughs> so Lisa, Lisa Carpet Munching, Larry messing with men, Archbishop Bernard Jordan allegedly messing with men. So what his wife Deborah doing? Messing with, you know what? Okay, he said that he sent Larry a video seven months ago and Larry leaked it in Trinidad, said it was all over the radio stations, all over social medias. He said that he was involved in an orgy. Now, before I get to that, he said that his sister and Larry is real tight and he said that his family is a sellout. He said that Larry will cut them a check, write them a check and they will sell out on him. He said his mom is, and sister is easy to buy. Says he believed the family, his own family, released that sex tape. That's what he said. My Lord. He said, but Larry sent it to him. He said the video was of an orgy. He said it was two transgenders in there. We don't know if Netta was one of them, but he said it was four girls and two guys. He said that Larry tried to paint him out to be a bad man. He said that Larry did this to try to... Uh, mess up his reputation he said instead of showing the whole video of him involved with the transgender because he said he loves transgenders he said they look better than women he liked their fake body their fake boobs he don't care about the dick he liked their feminine face that's what he said okay 
But um, he said that Larry and them cut out the part when he was slanging that thing on them girls, them four girls, and them transgenders. Because the ones he messed with, he says, is the best of the best. So I'm sure he put them four girls with them too and called it sits. But he said that Larry and them only got him with the boys. Messing with the boys, the boys that was involved. Not, you know, I'm not speaking of young boys, but he said that Larry, you know, chopped that video up where he just got him, you know, messing with the boys, playing in his butt. You know how they, how that go. All right. He, <laughs> he said that he didn't give Larry none in the beginning. He said Larry had to work for it. You know, since Larry don't never do anything in his life, but sit online and give fake prophecies and, you know, fake prayers, charging $3,000 and thousands of dollars for prayers. He said that Larry had to do some work to get inside of him. Hmm. He said that he had protected sex with Larry first. Because he knew Larry had HIV, allegedly. This is all allegedly. This is all allegedly. I'm just telling y'all, all allegedly, okay? This is what Lester Peltier. See, I'm saying a source. I'm telling you where I get my information from. You feel what I'm saying? You know, anytime I say anonymous or don't say no source, I'll have a receipt. But see, when you got a source that you can actually quote, you don't need no receipt. They are the receipt. But when you talk about, oh, somebody said, oh, I heard, that's not a receipt, bitch. If you heard something and you don't want to say their name, put the receipt up. Or say their name, Jabba. Okay. He said that he saw A and prep tablets strolled everywhere. You could just walk in the bathroom and pick up a tablet. It was tablets everywhere. Y'all know I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I'm telling you what he's saying, and then I'm exaggerating. But that's what he said. He said he saw A's and prep tablets. He said that Larry took him to his own doctor, and the doctor gave him prep shots. He said after a few months of being prepped up, he said he consulted with a doctor friend of him and asked if it was okay to have sex with Larry. Because Larry, see... From my understanding of what he is saying, Larry don't care about these people's lives. Y'all follow what I'm saying? It's like Larry wanted him to get prepped up so that he can feel that man raw. Instead of going to Walmart, going to motherfucking Priscilla's or Adam and Eve and getting you a, a skin tight condom. I don't know. Hmm. Says he got prepped up, y'all. He said the second time he had sex with Larry Reed was unprotected because he had been prepped up. They have made preparations to block them spirits that Larry has been shooting. And uh, he said that he let Larry climb on his back. He did. He let Larry climb on his back. He said because he wanted Larry to feel strong, like he was in control, you know. He 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 wanted Larry to feel strong. He said that Larry's dick is five inches. And like I said earlier, he said that Larry lasts less than a minute. He said that once Larry ejaculated in him, he said Larry told him, my spirit is in you now. Mm, 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 mm. He said he just rolled his eyes at Larry like... <laughs> I'm just telling you, allegedly, this is all allegedly. That's what he said. He said that Larry has put his spirit in him. Yep, that damn spirit that you ain't going to be able to get off. We're going to see him shrivel up like a prune too, bro, because that shit that they say Larry Reed got, they say that shit is the first ever to break through prep. So <laughs> I hope you got that, that platinum prep or that gold prep. You need to upgrade. You don't need that basic prep. You need somebody to get that shit in a lab. Okay. He says that he never effed the guy in his life, but he only, you know, have had sex with transgender. So Tasha K was like, they got a penis though. He was like, I don't care. You know, they got the hair. They got the feminine face. They got the body that they bought. 
They got the breasts that they bought. You know, they, they're on their hormone pills and softening their skin. He says, you know, I'm assuming that he will be more comfortable going out in public with someone being himself, being himself with someone that looks like a woman, you know, and people not knowing what they have down there rather than walking out in the streets on the strip with Larry Reed. Um, he says that he have had sets with the best of the best transgenders. That's what he said. I'm just telling y'all what he said. Says he is a curious man. He's not gay. I don't understand that. Says he wanted to try something different. Says he was on strong doses of gummy bears and highly intoxicated when he had sex with Larry because it was just he couldn't he couldn't get in. He could get into it. He said that he needed to get in the mood. He says that he has text messages was where Larry confessed his love for him. I love you. I love you. I love you more than my ex-wife, Lisa. I love you more than my daughters. I love you. I love you more than Shamako, my bitch. He said Larry told him he loved him. He said Shamako was his bitch, was Larry's bitch. He said he and Latrice couldn't work out because she's a dice. But then he corrected and said a dyke. But then, you know. He said that Larry is losing. Let's get back to that. He said Larry, because he was all over the place. So I'm going how he going. He went back, says Larry is losing weight because Larry allegedly has HIV. He says that Larry lives a miserable life, says that Larry, like I said earlier, did witchcraft on Bishop Whitehead and buried Whitehead's name in some black sand down in Miami. Mm, down there where the witch is in the water. Said Larry tried to manip uh, manipulate him to make him believe being gay was okay and that God will forgive him and still bless him because just look at him. He said, just look at me. Look what the Lord has done for me. I can buy you. I can buy you. I can buy, I can buy more cars than Oprah Winfrey has ever said her audience could have. He said, just look around. Look at this life I'm providing for you. Mm -hmm. He said that one time they was in New, uh, New York and said Larry tried to cut him off. But he told Larry, uh-uh, I got dirt on you, nigga. Oh, I got dirt on you. He said he was trying to make Larry jealous by saying that Whitehead was putting him in hotels and he probably and you know why y'all know white Whitehead is a is a prison trade he a prison bitch y'all already know Whitehead do give a little uh 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 okay he said that uh, he said that he was making Larry jealous acting like he was on the phone testing his other phones you know and when you're dealing with somebody like this this is what he said he said that he got two phones he said he got two phones he said that he was putting Whitehead's picture and you know fake number of his other phone on one phone and then you know he was texting Whitehead to make it seem like that Whitehead was texting him back and that's where Larry ran with that lie was trying to say that Whitehead paid him to do all of this stuff y'all know all that shit Larry lied about you can't believe him I don't see why people defending him I wonder what uh Clifford and Jabba the Hood gonna say yeah he said uh so he was trying to make Larry jealous he said that he wanted control over Larry's mind. He said he got it. Mm -hmm. And this was this 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 is what really disgust disgusted me when he said this. He said that if Larry Reed's daughter, he didn't say which one. He said if Larry Reed's daughter was about twenty five, he would have had he would have fucked him. But he was like, man, I got I got a daughter, so I ain't even. So he says that if you know if Larry's daughter was older, he was he would have smashed her. He said that he really wanted to dick down Lisa. What do Lisa look like? They say Lisa bad, baby. Is she bad? Or is that all Photoshop? Says he tried to call Whitehead one day and Whitehead thought it was Larry and leaked his number. Says Larry told him he had sex with a bunch. Oh, let me get to this. I'm, I'm all over the place. He said that he tried to, I got it because I got to explain this. Let me see what y'all said in the comments. Let's get them lights. Come on, y'all. Let's light this thing. Come on, come on. Okay. He said that he wanted to get control of Larry. He wanted Larry to feel like he could trust him. Because he said, he made it clear that he was using Larry this whole time. He said that he got it where Larry would trust him. And he was saying things like, I don't care if you're a pedophile. 
I don't care what you have done. I'm rocking with you, bro. You see what? Let's go. What's wrong, man? Talk to me. He said that Larry admitted that he molested a 15-year-old in his church when he was a pastor in Fayetteville, North Carolina, but he made a mistake. He said that Larry told him the story about him being gay, uh, the story about him being molested. And he said that Larry said, why not, why not be gay if you've been molested? Mm. He says that, we're going to get back to that Kendall stuff. He says that when he goes to Larry's house, he said Kendall is naked and everybody else in the house is naked. He says he told Larry he likes pussy. Larry kept on trying to talk to him and, you know, and all of that stuff. He said it got to the point where Larry would have to pay for his sets, pay for his body. You know, he says that he told Larry, I like women, but he really don't. He like transgenders. Okay. And he said Larry couldn't take that, that. He said Larry couldn't take that. He says he would tell, excuse me, he says, excuse me, says he told Larry he wanted to go back to Miami and be with his girlfriend. He said if Larry wanted to be with him, he told Larry, you got to pay. Hmm. He said he wasn't like one of Larry's boy toys who he just called in the room and fuck. Kenda, come here. Drop them damn draws. Nate, Shamako, bring your ass here. Something I think while I read this book. I'm telling you, that's what the man said. He says he wanted to get Larry on camera because Larry talks about everybody else, but don't talk about himself. When he said that, I went up into a glow. I said, hi, yeah, 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 yeah. See, you can't do this job when you got dirt. When you got dirt on you, you got stuff out there. You got to be careful what stories you cover, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. 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 I wonder what what Clifford, Uncle Clifford got to say about this. And I wonder, I wonder, I wonder what Jabba got to say about his hut. And I ain't talking about Pizza Hut, bitch. He says he wanted to get Larry on camera because Larry talk about everybody else, but not himself. Says he sent videos of him to Larry. He was playing in his butt. His bussy with a dildo, he said. He said he was playing in it. He sent videos to Larry. He says Larry is a witch. Says Larry gave him a book that's from Haiti and told him he should read it. He says that Larry preaches preaches Jesus, but he worships his ancestors. Says Larry is ugly as fuck. Says he feel like God sent him to expose Larry Reed. Mm. Says that he's been spending all of Larry Reed's members' money and got a lot of it over there in Trinidad. Ooh. He says that Larry lives in Cardi B's house, says that Kendall is Larry's ass liquor and does everything he tells him to do. He says that him and Larry fell out after uh, Larry, you know, he got us in some trouble and, um, um, you know, Larry reported him to immigration. He said that he was going to show some receipts to Tasha K. So, so Tasha K could see this type of man he is. This is my advice to Larry Reed. I really feel like, and I don't like that stuff where Bishop Bernard Jordan got up there looking like a, a parking lot pimp. Trying to put, got chains on, I'm talking about chains on his neck, shades on, trying to be like Larry Reed live. You supposed to be a man of God. I want to know y'all preachers that get up here trying to prophesy and try to say, oh, 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 um, God, what's going on in the public? Shut up. God ain't told you nothing. Shut up. Shut up. God ain't told y'all nothing. Y'all need to stop lying on the Lord and stop covering up this molestation. You struggling ass YouTubers. Now, let me say this. And I'm going to say this and I'm going to say it because y'all know I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, I know people have mixed feelings about Vincent. But this man gave us evidence that Larry Reed is a molester, child molester. He gave us evidence after Larry Reed lied and said that he is a fucked up individual. Now, I don't have a problem. 
with people roasting Vincent and calling Vincent out for being full of shit. But we're not going to ignore the fact that Larry Reed live said, or excuse me, that Levantre Andrew said that Larry, or no, that Larry molested him and that Larry Reed live said, live said on audio that he was coming to Vincent to see what Vincent could do to cover up this molestation. Now, I'm on LaVentre Andrews' side, and I'm getting on Vincent's ass. I'm not just, I'm not getting on Vincent's ass and staying quiet about what Larry Reed did to LaVentre. The only people that's doing that are the ones that's paid off. The ones that's getting an a, getting a envelope. And then want to get online and try to say, oh, that ain't my business. If that's what he doing, are you serious? You know why? Because when them drag queens, and shout out to the drag queens down there in, uh, in L.A. When them drag queens hit me up today and they told me that this person, job of the hood, fondles with, with the girls, rubbing on them kids that used to be up in them clubs while he's sitting up there at them motherfucking tables with them ugly ass wigs on. Trying to uh, MC back there in the back, rubbing on people. Mm, bitch. Ooh, I'm praying to see if the Lord going to let me take this story or not. Because they want to come up and they want to come out. They want, listen, this is this is the thing. They said, Gerald, we want to come up and drag and tell this story. I said, oh, God. But y'all hoes that's paid off, shut up. Because you don't make no sense. And we understand why? Why are you covering up? Yeah. We understand why you covering up. <laughs> we understand why you covering up. So what y'all think? What do y'all think? Do y'all think Larry Reed is guilty of this? Or what y'all think? I think he guilty. Because at the end of the day, Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> At the end of the motherfucking day, you know, you hoes is paid the fuck off. And you hoes gonna go to jail for harboring fugitives, bitches, and covering up sin. Now, like I told y'all, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sonya. Like I told y'all, I don't believe that story that Vincent is telling everybody. Oh, oh, oh. He should just take that video down because it's pissing me off. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't know about Levantre Andrews' story. Oh, oh, oh. I'm doing this to cleanse my karma. No, you're doing this because some shit about to go down. You don't want to be caught up in it. You volunteering. You the one that's snitching out of everybody. Not saying that you bad snitch because you did good snitch. On the part that you did, where you told on Larry, released the recordings and proved that he was a liar and that he did know uh, Lester and put Lester's story out there about the country, all that stuff, we appreciate you for that. But you was involved. You was there. You was the one that Larry would come to to put the fires out. That's why it's a fire going on right now, because you're not there to keep this shit under control. And maybe if Larry would not have, maybe if y'all wouldn't have gotten into an argument OK, when you said in your video that you and Larry was going back and forth about the reality TV show and he started talking about I'm your prophet. And you said if you don't, and he said he started going back and forth. And then he said that he told Larry, if you don't like it, fire me. And Larry said, you're fire, like Vince McMahon said. And so, you know. You got this grown till you wanted your money. Larry still owed you for, you know, for the work that you did. You got your money and you came out. You got your money during the time that the story about Levantre from Tasha K had been out there. It had been out there from January the 15th, the night you said that the night Tasha K dropped that interview was the night that Larry texted you and told you he was going to pay you your money and that he wanted to talk to you, which was the same night that y'all was sending that call when you released that audio where he said that Shamako told him to come to you to handle this stuff. Had y'all not had that argument in that house, you would still be over there. You would have not come out and defended Levantre and you still ain't went to the Raleigh Police Department to give no damn statement.
<sighs> Damn. You ain't got you ain't gave no statement yet, bro. When you gonna give a statement? When you gonna tell us or tell the police what you what Larry came to you about? He came to you to cover up some molestation allegations, and then he tried to spin the narrative to make it seem like oh they they all went into a room and Larry told them, but I didn't find out. Maybe it's because they knew I would have told. No, the fuck they want. Why would they have a fire, uh, uh, Vincent, as you say, and not come to you when you put out the fires? Now, you did say most fires, but this was a fire that you would put out. Why didn't you tell us what other type of fires you put out? And I'm going to get on Larry Reed live. Larry. You need to stop. You need to come out and you need to tell these people that you a sleaze bag and that you're not at all worthy to sit up online and try to offer prayer. All y'all keep bringing these false prophets. You a false prophet. Bernard Jordan, a false prophet. His gay son, Manasseh Jordan, is a false prophet. You talking about you going to sue Bishop T.D. Jakes. Y'all hoes ain't filed no lawsuit yet. When y'all going to file the lawsuit? Do anybody know when the lawsuit going to get filed? Y'all tried to come out the jakes. The Holy Ghost done kicked in and done kicked y'all to a side. I mean, Larry, this is your second public scandal. I mean, it's surrounding the, you know, Levantre, but now you got a secret lover that has come out to say you have splurged and he has spent over $130,000 of your, of the MBN network members money. Them hoes, them hoes don't mind paying for your boy toys. They don't believe it. They don't believe it. Larry Reed could not give you a day in his life. Not a, not a real one. Not Oh, he going to cut and chop that. He ain't going to show you Kendall them laying all naked on the bed. He ain't going to show you how, you know, he got all them pills that Lester said that he saw stroll all over the damn house. You don't know which one is AIDS pill and you don't know which one is prayer. But, you know, they, you know, you do know they got the little numbers on there. He knew the colors of the preps. He knew all of that stuff. But I'm so sick of this man keep coming to the internet, y'all. Third scandal. Ooh, I'm so tired of this man keep coming to the internet trying to make people believe that he's telling the truth. Everybody not lying on you, Larry. You the one is the liar. You the liar. You came out your mama wound as a liar. You was over there on Mandy Manhole Live talking about how you were S-T-R-A-I-G-H-T -T, and then you know, all them people over there was trying to get you to understand. Are you sure, you know, you only had sexual experiences with a man when you were molested by a person in your family who was also molested by a person in your family? I mean, it's a family tree. Keep your hands to yourself. You look like a zombie. I'm surprised you ain't cast into motherfucking The Walking Dead. When is, is Walking Dead coming back on? Do anybody know it's Walking Dead coming back on and it's 4,000 pounds? <laughs> Ooh. I'm sorry. Anybody know if, you know, <laughs> is the 600 pound life coming back on? <laughs> you know, I just want to know what these paid off hoes going to say. What these hoes gonna say now? These hoes gonna be sitting in their chairs. These hoes gonna be sitting in their chairs like this. I don't know, child. I don't know. Larry, just Larry, just do you, Larry. Just go. Let, let, ooh, Larry, get on the plane. I ain't said nothing about no sexual assault allegations. I ain't said nothing about Larry wrong. It's oh, cash out me, Larry. Cash out me so I get a bus ride in the morning. <laughs> Deny, you would think a bitch that's richer than us would have a car, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, shit. These hoes, get, they, these hoes finna get informed delivery, bitch. You finna get hit right with that letter. You gonna be on your phone like... Child, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They say it's funny how all this stuff comes out when Bishop Cards of Pearson transition out of here. Ooh, listen. Let me tell you something. Larry Reed got ran out of Fayetteville. Okay? It's another pastor. It's so funny because I met these pastors. I don't know if I want to say these their name. No, I ain't going to say their name. 
he was he was down there. He was down. They say you got him today. I seen a blogger win Miller for summer. I mean, that's what they do, though. That's that's what they do. All they do, all they do is defend Larry. They are paid off. I'm telling you, they are paid off. When you got bitches online going out the three people, the same people every day that's that's commentating and vlogging on Larry Reed live and they ain't saying nothing about Larry, that's when you know they paid off. See, me, Jazz, Denot, all these other bloggers, we we are we are Larry's targets. So he got to use the fools to come at us. You get what I'm saying? But they ain't big enough. They platforms are not big enough. They their name is not big enough. You see what I'm saying? Because how you gonna clear? How 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 you gonna how you gonna justify this? How you gonna defend this? You can say Vincent this, Vincent that. Oh, I don't know the whole story. Well, bitch, you've been sitting up online defending Larry for the last six, seven, eight days, and you ain't got on the phone with him yet and tried to get an explanation. Or the only time y'all, oh, this light, child. Y'all see these shadows? This light got my these shadows and shit got me looking. What the fuck? That's how Vince and them had T.S. Madison and Kai and them over there looking. Because they were supposed to come over there and they were supposed to set that, set that shit up a week prior. They came the day of, tried to sabotage the show. And instead of Mandy Manhor putting up the iPad, which was a good idea, the bitch want to try to get Monique on the line. Oh, we trying to get Monique out here. Huh? Them Vince and them, them motherfuckers. Larry Reed, they took, uh, Vincent stole, deleted William McCray's files. And people are like, well, how he delete them? Well, when you give somebody access to your stuff, to work on your stuff for you, to do this stuff for you, and you paying them, instead of them giving you your shit back, they delete it. That's why you don't get nobody your shit. Yeah, Larry Kane to sabotage. Yeah, Larry Kane to sabotage. <laughs> Yay. Larry Kane. But see, I don't want to. If I hear these bloggers talk about sexual assault, again, I'm going to roast their ass down to the ground. I'm telling you, I'm going to go on a whole week campaign and I'm going to roast, I'm going to roast their ass down to the ground. Because you ain't talking about Larry. You ain't talking about Larry. How much money did y'all hoes get paid? Cause you ain't get paid to come up against me, bitch. You ain't get paid enough. You need some more money, bitch. You stupid. Cause I'm gonna get all of that. <laughs> mm. Wait, let me see. But he is the pastor. Wait, hold on to see. You want me to say his name, Gerald? Man, like I'm not gonna say. But he is the pastor, bishop of Iway Holy Church of Phil. I personally talked to him that time. Back. Hold on, bro. What you said? Let me go back to your comment. I don't know none of these people. <laughs> All right, but this was some serious tea. Listen, Katrina. Well, it's funny how all this stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. They were saying Larry Reed didn't pay off Storm and Mor um, Well, it's also funny that Storm and Rowan Armand Wiggins did not come out either. But you know, if a bitch bring you some bottles to drink, you know, and some gummy bears, you going you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna answer the real, you ain't gonna ask the hard questions either. See, bitch, I can sip. And ask you these these hard questions because we the people want to know, you know. So I don't expect them to come back out and look like fools. Because what can you say? You can't say nothing. You cannot. What can you what What can you defend? What you gonna say? Larry didn't do it. He came to Shamarco to cover it up. He called Shamarco that night because he needed someone to help him. Make Levantre go away. He needed somebody to help him get rid of this story that Levantre is telling on social media to Tasha Cat. You get what I'm saying? But you fucked up though. You fucked up. I just want to know. I just want to know how much money he paying them hoes. <laughs> How much money is Larry paying you hoes to get up here? And then people keep messaging me about Daryl Moore. Daryl Moore is shady. You know, he's shady. 
I don't know all of the stuff that was going on. You know what I'm saying? I know that I called him earlier today, well, yesterday, because it's it's third with Thursday now, but I called him because I was trying to get him and another person to reconcile because it seems like that I just feel like sometimes you don't have to say a lot. You don't have to say nothing. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to. Thank you so much, prophetess. Uh, they all operate in the same spirit of witchcraft. They are snakes. Thank you so much. Right. They are. They are snakes. That's what they do. But sometimes you don't got to say nothing. Now, from my understanding, Daryl Moore put this story out. He was the one that got this story out. He was the one um, that 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 interviewed everybody. He was the one that got a lawsuit, but they said that he did too much. I don't know about that part. I don't know about that part, but I was confused because I saw Jabba the Hood send him money and Jabba the Hood is paid off in defending Larry. And then he was shouting out Jabba the Hood for sending him the money and then stated that he heard us over here Calling job of the hood, job of the hood. But Daryl Moore is is going against Larry. So I guess Larry said, just play the game. You know how to do it. You did it to Jero. You did it to Jives. You did it to everybody. Just play the game. You know how to be funny. You know how to be, you know how to be messy. You know how to act like you they friend. And then send everybody they they pass and you know old ass news you know that don't nobody give a fuck about you you know how to be that so I guess he had to play the role you gonna say or if it's anybody that they are being paid to attack they're going to support regardless of that person's stance you get what I'm saying. <laughs> They said, whatever happened from, wait, what'd you say? They said, whatever happened with Pastor from Greater and Winston-Salem in the first place, they moved the fuck out. I'm going to do a follow-up story on that. I'm going to tell y'all. He had some attorneys reach out to me, and he wanted to get the story taken now. I told him the price. They didn't want to pay it. Now you can't find the bishop. His website's down. Facebook page gone. His wife gone. Don't nobody know where he at. People was hitting me up and was asking me the other day. And I was like, I don't know. They said he moved out, child. They said the story destroyed him. Mm, 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 mm. But you wrong, though. The members were sending me. He had snakes in his camp. The members had the phone in their purse recording it. They already told me. They said, Gerald, I got you, baby. I got you. What's your cash app? They had that. I'm talking about she had it up in her purse. You were hearing her moving. She was trying to make sure that speaker got everything them hoes said about the baddest blogger. See, them hoes always going to work for the baddest blogger. All you got to do is just bless them. That's the blessing to be able to bless them for the tea. If it's good. You get what I'm saying? But let me tell y'all one thing about Gerald Jackson. I'm going to expose. I will never cover up. Never. There's not an amount of money you can pay me to cover up for molestation. Now, you might say, oh, I might hit you up and say, listen, because this is the thing. Let me tell y'all how this shit go. Because y'all be getting this extortion sh shit fucked up. Let me tell you how this shit go. As a real journalist, my job is to get to the truth of a story. So when I get a story and there are allegations against a person, I reach out to one person. The victim, they tell me their story. I then call the person who's been accused of something. I get their side of the story. These pastors love to pay. They will pay you big bucks to not write these stories. But when you call into them to get an offer, I mean, not an offer, but when you call in them to get a statement, they offer you money. You tell them what you got. And I just want to say, oh my gosh, what can I do to not? Put this story up here. I got, can I give you some money and I put this story up here? They made the proposition. And see where a lot of these bloggers mess up with it is you need to let your lawyers handle that part. You understand what I'm saying? It's not illegal to charge a takedown fee because it's already posted. 
to say, oh, if you don't give me this, I'm about that's that's what extortion is, baby. Okay. Just want y'all to know. Just like what Larry is doing is what these pastors do. That's what Jake's them been doing. That's what fucked Eddie Long up. Eddie Long didn't want to pay them boys. He wanted to fuck them for free. They got tired of driving his cars for free. They got tired of the Christmas gifts every year. They got tired of all of this access. They wanted money so they could go on with their life. He didn't want to give them that. He didn't want to give them that. That's why he fucked up. That Jake's like to pay. Jake's will pay you. That's why he came out in that service and said, I ain't worried about nothing. That's why Larry thought he could get online and say, I don't know this boy because he done paid everybody off. He thought he did. You get what I'm saying? He thought he did. He thought he did. And see, we can do, we can, we can really, we can really run it up. Hold on. Bye, Siri. We can really run it up. We can get us one of them damn AI channels and go out the bitch, bitch. I'll make sure this motherfucking AI channel posts something about you every damn day. <laughs> no, nah, I just don't do that. They said, now Jace got that real dough. Oh, yeah, he got that real money. Jace got that real money. So. I just feel like that. I don't know how this contract marriage is going to go. Him and Latrice did not have sex. Um, I don't know. I think this is just like Portia's husband. I mean, do we? I mean, is that even her husband's name? Like, is that his real name? Because they scamming. They doing all of this fraud. You know what I'm saying? They doing all of this fraud. Ain't no telling how many goddamn CPNs Larry got over there. You get a CPN. You get a CPN. You get a CPN. All of them have $850 scores. All you got to do is come drop your draws, drop your draws, drop your draws. Oh, man, this shit is wild. Y'all be surprised who these people are in, in private. All them boys. Listen, I never understood why Larry had so many men around him. I never understood why he had all them dudes around him. I can't hang out with that many dudes. If we ain't on vacation, you know, I can't do that. Me and my friends go on a vacation. We try to every year. But it's like a week, couple of days. But living, you ain't got no woman. You ain't got no. Do you have a woman assistant? Damn, at least have a woman as somebody. You got all these people. And then he travels all around the world and get to meet different people. And get to try different people. Because Lester said Larry Reed is ugly. I don't know what them filters he be putting up on social media, but that dude said Larry Reed is oogly. Double O-G-L-Y. Oogly. And I'm like, I know you fucking conscious. That's what they say. You bought conscious a, a car. They say you paying conscious rent. But what you doing with Job of the Hood? You just, you know what I'm saying? What is, what's Job of the Hood's uh, position? What, what does, what? You know, I got to call these bitches by their real names, huh? you know, cause, you know, I got to call these bitches by their real names because they be trying to, they, they have different aliases and shit, child. They got to do it. They be having different motherfucking aliases. I'm winning tonight, bitch. <laughs> Let me screenshot it. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I think, oh, let me tell y'all this. So listen, y'all know Friday, Vincent, last Friday, Vincent, had told uh, William McCray that he was going to give him his files back. First of all, he lied and said he didn't have the files when I was just telling him. And then he was like, go get go get William McCray and tell him to bring his hips in here. William come in here. Dennis, I don't got the files. I'm going to give you your files. And Dennis, I can find you. Dennis, on the phone, he talking to William. And it's, I'm going to give you your, fi your files. But William McCray ain't heard nothing back from him yet. Jobs can't get his stuff that, uh, you know, Vincent done took, stole, or what have you. So it's like, bro, you fucked up out here in the streets. You know? So, I mean, I'm going to give you a little grace because you did come with some receipts. Now, had you just came out here with your word, 
we would have been like, fuck no. I don't believe you healing. And then you was portraying some of that little predatory behavior while you was live answering them questions. I don't know if y'all caught that. But, you know, I'm just saying. Still ain't getting that man his files back. Then you got Uncle Clifford over there talking about that the man got put out his apartment saying he didn't pay no rent. Y'all know, you know, they say them people, they say them people over there, child, at the LRL network, they like be go. They say them hoes like to call and get your get you put out your places and call your social security offices and your landlords. And you know, they that's that stuff they like to do over there. Okay, let me see. They said there is also a rumor of LR, uh, LRL getting with uh, what ugly Tasha K. Lloyd. What? Because he on vacation with money TDJs gave him. Ooh, he has no exactly. He ain't gonna get them files back. He ain't gonna get them files back. Mm -mm. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, he ain't gonna. He ain't. He ain't. He ain't. He ain't gonna. He ain't gonna get them files back. Not at all. Oh, yeah. Yep. I saw that, Reds. Yep. I saw that. Larry Reed is nasty. He is nasty. And how the hell this dude said that he he took Viagra and couldn't get up. How you take Viagra and can't get up? It was that bad. I'm trying to tell you, can't no money, no money, no money, no money, no. Mm -mm. You just gonna have to be a good friend and just if you want to throw money, just throw money. If you want to be a good friend, just be a good friend. But ain't no motherfucking way in hell I'm finna take a payment from you to no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And then I don't understand. And this is not to shame nobody, but y'all know I keep it real. You can't get mad at us when you go out there in them streets. Them Twitter streets, and you go out here in these parking lots like Job of the Hood was back down there in motherfucking LA and throw that ass in a circle and you catch something and you get up here online and get mad when everybody talking about what you got. But I'm trying to understand you had enough money, Lester, to leave Larry. Why did you why did you even lay down? Why did you even put yourself in that predicament to even lay down with somebody that you know having? I'm not saying that you know love. You know, don't cover a multitude of sin. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I'm not about to be sleeping with somebody with, 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 with that stuff. I don't give a fuck if you undetectable, detectable now. So it's like, okay, damn, you was really trying to run the money up. Because I was like, nah, I'm good. But. You know, in order to get them 10 to 15 bands, you know, you had to you had to sleep with Larry Reed. So I wondered, I wondered, I wonder, do everybody that he paid got to sleep with him to get paid? Like, how does that work? I wonder how is his firing policy? Is it at will employment? Is it a union? <laughs> I'm trying, oh, I gotta get this hair off and up under the chin. I'm trying to figure out like what y'all think it is. Do y'all think Larry? I mean, do you think everybody that he pays or have on payroll, they have to, you know, what you think? So you think he go to Mexico and commit sins and crimes over there to them, 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 them immigrants and aliens and stuff and then come back to America and got to worry about going to jail? What you going to be doing while your daughter's in the room sleep? What you and Kendall going to be doing? Recruiting like the motherfucking uh, Army Reserve. What y'all going to be over there in Mexico doing? Mm -mm. They said money. Ooh, woo. it's an ass will. <laughs> Not an ass will. <laughs> they say he got to do something strange for a little piece of. I want to do. Larry got a pole at the house. I want to do. I want to do. They be sliding down that damn pole, that damn stairwell, that 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 that, that, that staircase. You know. I want to do. They be sliding down the motherfucking goddamn. Uh, the the staircase. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The little, the little, the part that uh, job of the hood need to hold on to to stand up out that motherfucking chair because we still ain't seen that bitch stand up. These bitches stood up back in the day. Why these hoes don't want to stand up now? <laughs> oh my gosh! So let me say this. I understand y'all, these YouTubers out here in these streets, y'all doing y'all thing. Shout out to everybody that got their foot on their neck. Definitely shout out to King Payne for bringing Lester to the internet 
because I really do believe what Lester said when he said that he believed God sent him to expose Larry Reed. I really do believe that. I really do. I really do believe that. And the stuff he said about Larry, I mean, I just, I'm trying to figure out why was Lisa, why Lisa didn't like him. Did Lisa, I mean, I just don't understand. Lisa had to know whether Vincent lied in Lisa's face and said, Larry is not gay or, or whatever. She had to know. She had to know that he was gay. Ain't no way Lisa didn't know. That's why she went and got her some coochie. She went to go eat her because she went and got her plastic dick. She ain't want that dick no more. She knew what she knew what it was. And I don't understand how these prophets, y'all, these prophets like Bernard Jordan, they be talking about, they be trying to give a word for everybody else. The Lord said this, but the Lord ain't gave you no word yet. The Lord ain't slap you in your face and tell you. No, he ain't. He ain't going to give it because you're not connected to him. You don't hear his voice. Y'all are evil. When you are evil, all you hear is evilness. All you see is evil. You can't hear God because your ears are stopped up. You got to get that nut out your ear. You got to get that nut out your eyes. You got to get your face off in between them boys' ass, Larry. When are you going to get on your face, and pray to God. When you gonna get on your Larry? When you gonna get on your knees and tell God for God you will live and for God you'll die? When you gonna ask God to deliver you? And why is you putting black sand on Bishop Whitehead's name? This man sat up on Tasha K and said you was a whole witch, you a whole warlock, and you sitting up here got these people sewing into your sorcery. You going straight to hell. You already in hell. Getting online thinking this shit ain't bothering. It's bothering you. You couldn't even look in the camera while Bishop Bernard Joy was lying to your ugly ass. Sitting there looking like somebody done put some Elmer's glue on their damn hand and I peeled it off and stopped to take a break, bitch. That's what your hand look like. Just like to put Elmer's glue, rub that bitch together, peel it off and take a break, bitch, and look at your hand. That's what your hand, that's what your whole face look like, Larry. God is exposing you. That's why you lose the weight. You dying just like um, just like Eddie Long. And then when we say stuff like that, um, these bitches didn't even flinch. He sat out there and said, he, he, I'm a die. Yeah, you too big. You got to lose weight. You got to take care of yourself. Get you some damn sea moss. And put them damn cake, but cake shakes down. Take care of your body. The older you get. The more you should be focused on your body if you want to live long. You don't have to worry about going to the doctor for no high blood. Take care of your body. You ain't young no more. You old and rusty and gray. Sitting up here talking about, yes, bitch. Them neck bones going to penetrate your motherfucking ass. Thank you, Sister Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm cussing in front of the prophetess. Lord have mercy. Prophetess, I, I ain't saved. I just love God. I just, I just love the Lord. He's been so good to me. He's been so good to me. You know what I'm saying? Larry Reed, I don't know. I heard that these bloggers have been hitting up immigration. I heard they've been emailing immigration every day. They trying to get a statement. They canceled Kingdom Business off BT. The numbers were low. The numbers were really low. Y'all know how Trump say. And um, they canceled it on top of the allegations that first came out. Now, I don't know what Tasha K finna do with this interview. She might send it to immigration. I don't know what she going to do. Y'all know Tasha K, credibility ain't good. She don't pay her bills because she owe Tasha K four something million dollars. She won't, she don't pay her bills on time. We know that. But at the end of the day, Lester, he's all about money. He's a pimp. You know, Larry got himself into some dangerous stuff. He, he didn't have enough money. I mean, it's like, okay, if you spending 5,000 on, 
Kendall to shut up every day. If you spend a ten thousand on Shamako to shut up, you paying everybody just to shut up. Any day that check stop, they can, they can, they can blow the whistle on you, right? So all of the money that Lester was getting, it was cutting into the other hush money. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, you you costing too much. He was running out. Running out. No people ain't super chatting in Patreon like that, is they? But you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully Larry get himself together. You know, you know. And um So I don't know. We definitely going to see because this is no, they don't fear God. They don't fear God. They don't fear God. But back to what I was saying about Daryl Reed. And I know some of y'all gonna be messing and send it back to him, but y'all know I don't care. Uh, but I just want to say he called me because after I did the interview with King Payne, he called me because I was I didn't know Lester's infant last name or all of his information or what have you. And um, you know, he had reached out or whatever, and I was like, okay. And I sent them something about the insurance and stuff. But other than that, I don't really know the guy. But um, I do feel like that you can't be, you know, you it's okay to be vindicated, but you can't be messy because everybody plays some role in, in this thing and helping expose Larry Reed. But I guess, you know, him and Jives, he was saying stump, something about King Jives as far as something that was told to him in secret. When somebody tell you something in secret, that should be a secret. You get what I'm saying? Like if somebody says something to you in, 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 in secrecy, in privacy, in confidence, you don't go out and share that with nobody. You don't do that. That's not wrong. So I guess the situation with Del Quan um, or what have you, there was some stuff that he told Jives that Larry did or gave him or whatever. And I guess Daryl felt like that Jives should have said something, but the guy told him, don't say nothing. You know, this is between me and you, you know what I'm saying? And, and what does that have to do with the Levantre case? You get what I'm saying? But you know, they said, I fall, I, I feel sorry for his daughters. Their dad is, he is nasty. Lester is a damn fool if he didn't save at least 25. He said he was sending it back. He was sending some back to Trinidad. He was taking like 3,000. If Larry sent him 5,000, he'll take like 3,000 and send it back home. He said he has his bank statements from Trinidad or what have you. Um, and he did talk about how uh, his daughters have found out about um, this video with him and these guys and how he had to explain to his daughter. And she's like, I love you, dad. You know, it, you know, it, it is what it is. But it seems like he wants to be with his girlfriend. And let me just say this. Lester is a dangerous man. He's a dangerous man. He's a dangerous man. Anytime somebody do a tell-all, baby, I won't even fuck with them no more. I'm just saying. Like, you done set up here. What if you really want to find somebody that really like you, really want to be with you? You know, you done came out and I told all this stuff. It's just we already knew what was going on, but we glad that we have somebody other than Kendall, other than Shamako, other than the circle. You know what I'm saying? And then they say conscious TV get treated like a damn dog. Like a homeless dog. They said that. Uh, conscious TV, I guess, be with Larry. They be on the floor and he, uh, he be up there in the nosebleed about to fall off the motherfucking stadium, you know, because that heavy ass wig. Because <laughs> that heavy ass wig is glued on his motherfucking head and tied on his head with a motherfucking jump rope. And that goddamn wind is blowing that damn wig and it's trying to snatch his body off the motherfucking bleachers as well. So they said that. Uh, uh, he's, he get treated like a homeless dog. Okay. Like a dog that just ran out the woods trying to find some new owners. He don't get in knowledge in public. He looked like a fool. We want to know what's wrong with that motherfucking left eye. Cause we tired of, we tired of you curling that damn hair that going over there. <laughs> we are so sick of this bitch. I'm so sick of this bitch. This bitch. I'm so sick of this bitch. I'm so tired of these hoes covering up for Larry. I'm going to start spanking you bitches. That's what I'm going to start doing. 
That's what I'm going to start doing. I hope one of them goddamn roaches, while you on live one day, I hope one of them roaches run across Conscious TV head and snatch that motherfucking wig off. I hope it's a motherfucker. I hope it's a roach we ain't never seen before. Just run through that bitch and snatch that wig and the motherfucking cues off your motherfucker. I'm going to roast them all. Sure is. So, y'all already know the two top paid bitches for Larry is Jabba the Hutt, aka Thomas the Train, and Uncle Clifford. Okay. Only time that. Them hoes get clout is when they put in people whose name is popular and, you know, in the things, you know, hopefully I don't become content for the next week because, you know, these bitches can't sleep without watching me. These bitches be so mad, don't like me, but they got to watch me before they close their motherfucking eyes. Them hoes in red velvet cake right now. <laughs> the bitch done bought them a motherfucking goddamn electric robot. Y'all know the robot that you can just, you know, put your put your phone. I mean, uh, uh, put your uh. You can put your ice cream in there on the thing and they'll take it to the refrigerator, put it in the refrigerator. Y'all ain't know about them damn robots. I'm going to get me one. But these hoes got the beat, the, 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 the Timu one. <laughs> he also talked about how Larry, I think I said this already, how Larry um, was telling Kendra, come here, come here, drop them draw. Come get in with me. You know, I don't know. Um, Yeah. I guess we're going to raise some money one day and send them hoes, some waist trainers, and some new wigs. How about that? We'll go to Party City and get some new wigs and go on to Walmart and get one of them damn waist trainers, y'all. Listen, thank y'all so much. Um, they said, I can tell Pam is giving Thais. Listen, fuck that flunky, okay? That bitch finna get informed delivery coming to his motherfucking mailbox. He don't even know it. I don't even know why he be listening to people that's not even American citizens. He better stop that shit. And Pam ass, they, she, they don't report her ass to the bar. She out here giving people legal advice and she only represents the motherfucking client. I don't know what's going on, child. I don't talk about them hoes. Them hoes be trying to make me content every day. Them bitches cannot, them bitches cannot, they, oh, they just can't sleep knowing that I done been to jail and I came home. God damn, bitch. I'm from the three, three, four. Okay. I told you hoes. Came from the three, three, four to the nine, one, oh, had to let them niggas know I'm the CEO. Went to jail, made bail, came home and put the city on. Just to let you know, job of the hut. I did it on my own, bitch. You see, I ain't asked my people no more for no cash. I think I asked like two times, send your dollar. Bitch, we ain't got the bed. Bed. We, don't, we ain't got to eat no DoorDash before we go to bed, bitch. We stop eating at 8 o'clock. <laughs> they said, not Tim. You ain't Timu got the robot walking in circles. Sure do. They need to bring these bitches some, some of these damn, uh, them, uh. All right, y'all. Listen, they say you think whitehead, gay, and re. I don't know. I don't like the. I don't, I don't know. I mean, he could be metrosexual. He could, I mean, I don't know. I know a lot of men. Who has feminine ways, but they are straight men. Or y'all don't believe that. <laughs> it is true. 334 the gun, baby. Exactly. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in tonight. Hopefully, you know, Larry Reed will just tell the truth. Can we? And this is the thing. This is this is my thing. Let me say this before I get off, because I think I need to say this because. You know how you always get off and you think you done said everything, but you hadn't? Listen. Oh, Lord Jesus. What is you, bitch? Are you gay? Are you bisexual whore? Why are you worried about me, bitch? Don't come over here worried about me. You would never know, bitch. Figure it out. Figure it out, bitch. You hoes always coming over here trying to ask me a motherfucking question. Listen, when a motherfucker, see, like me, I put up some hardcore evidence the other night. Address the facts. Can we do that? When are y'all hoes going to address the facts? Y'all report on all these celebrities and what the people said they did and what the, what the proof is. Y'all ain't talking about, oh, child, these bitches. Oh, let me tell you about Chris Sean Rock. This bitch punt. No, no, no. Y'all talk about what's being talked about. 
So, bitch, if I put up some messages of you being fake, ho, address the messages, bitch. Don't be digging up no mo no no mugshots job of the hood. When ho is saying you a flunky and you phony, address that. Address that. Address that. Okay? Address the facts, bitch. Address the audio, Larry, please. Because we heard what you said. Whether you want to repeat it or not, address the facts. Address the facts. It's okay, bitch. We're going to address it. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in tonight, y'all. Listen, we are live again on tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I think, what, 4, 4 uh, Pacific Time, West Coast? So y'all be over here at that, those times. Thank y'all for tuning in. Who we got tomorrow? We're going to talk about Dez Do Your Dad again because I just went live to play the audio. Um, damn, who else we're going to talk about? I got some other stuff we're going to talk about tomorrow. We're definitely going to talk about this woman that got bun because y'all heard about the lady. She accidentally put her, well, she said she accidentally put her baby. She was trying to put her baby in, I guess, the, the crib and mess around and put the baby in the oven. They done gave her, well, they reduced her bun. And I'm like, oh my God. Ain't no fucking way. How you don't know? You don't feel the heat coming from the stove, bitch. You didn't feel that heat when you put that baby in that in that in that oven. Was the oven on? Oh God. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in tonight. Thank you for everybody who sent the cash app. You know who you are. I really appreciate it. Um. See y'all tomorrow. Make sure y'all subscribe. Okay, make sure you join the Patreon chat because I'm going to be dropping some tea in there. I'm just trying to get it together. Thank y'all so much for tuning in tonight. Peace.